Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today my friends I've got plenty of beautiful summery boat life footage for you. We're going to go boating, we're going to have a wander round and have a nose at some canal bridges and bits and pieces and really just enjoy being out and about on the canal in these beautiful conditions. Let's roll. Right then, we're currently filling up with water here as you can see. Um, down at Bettersfield at the water point. I was moored up just over there in the background, just behind the blue boat over there, if you can see it, and thought, well, I'll just walk the boat up backwards and then push it across over to where the water is on this side. Of course, as soon as it got to pushing the boat across, me thinking that I'm a lot cleverer than I am, uh, start to push it across. Doesn't quite go to perfectly the first time. Then we have boats coming up towards us, boats coming down through the bridge, and it all got a little bit damn brown, we'll say, to say the least. And then in that typical fashion, the person coming through the bridge who was being held up by me, scrabbling to try and get the boat across to the other side of the canal, a whopping 40 foot maximum, as you can see there, uh, but some of you knew me from YouTube, so uh, again I've made another quality first impression and I hope that it lived up to the damn brown expectation of everything's just on a shoestring budget, scraping together and figuring it out as I go along, even six years into boat life. My friends, I've got to be completely honest, as beautiful and scenic and absolutely spot on everything that you see in his, I don't know if I've ever heard anybody streaming so long in all my life. And I think that's some sort of gunshot over to the left hand side. Oh, it's all going on. As you can see my friends, we've got a lovely sunset going on. Admittedly, it's dazzling the camera and making everything look like a silhouette. If we start to zoom in as we pan the camera around, hang on a minute, have we got a, a neighbour in? Hmm, where could he be? Hey, hello. Now, who is this character, I wonder? Oh, they're off. <laughs> Take a brief moment here just to enjoy this classic sight of bucolic uh, rural life. And uh, I just want to point out that you can tell that it's definitely one of the first mega hot days of the year because you might see some of the dark spots around on the road here. And basically you've got the tar or whatever this stuff is starting to loosen up and seep through. So if I just put my foot down and scrunch it around, you can see how liquid the top surface has become. There's a van coming, I'm getting out of the way. I used to moor up good old Tilly and some of you may remember if you've got incredibly good memories or just obsessively watch my old videos I used to pick this random spot on the side of the canal because it had this break in the hedgerow that's pretty consistent for a good length of the canal and as you can see it gives you this extraordinary I think there's an old time lapse video I think of the the wind blowing the grass and stuff as it's all grown up over the summer months as you can see, it gives you this amazing rural view. So every time you look out of the windows, even on the towpath side, have your view over to the, the old church there. So we've got a holiday boat just making its way up a uh, stream on a, an adventure up to Langothlin, I'm sure. And just for argument's sake, just for interest while we're here, we've actually got planks of wood in this little hole. So it's still being used for its original intention. And for anyone who's unfamiliar with these things, as you can see, that's a pretty old door in a pretty old bridge. But basically those are stop planks, which would be placed down across the canal in these little grooves. There's one, I don't know if you can see it, just there on the other side. And that would be used to stop the flow of the water. And you could cut off sections of canal, so from one bridge to the next, for example. And uh, well, yeah, it's all fun and games. What an absolutely beautiful day. Right, I just want to show you something here before you see my next little bit of footage. 
and this is known as, forgive me if I get this in the wrong order, the Fens, Wixel and Bettisfield Mosses National Nature Reserve. And basically it's a huge bog as you can see. Now this doesn't look like it's potentially going to cause a problem or anything, but it does mean that the roads in the area obviously have to avoid this huge section that as you can see does uh, go on for quite a distance. So that means that even as I'm getting further and further away from Oswestry Street where I work, obviously my commutes get longer just naturally, but also now you have this sort of environment where you're obviously not going to get roads crossing. So it does make the uh, lanes and stuff tend to, I don't know, it just feels as if they take even less natural, even more windy routes, obviously following the path of least resistance. So for example, um, yesterday I got my dad to drop me off at Whitchurch and then I had to walk miles and miles down to the boat as it was the easiest sort of place that I could be dropped off after going to visit him and my little sister. Whereas we were just over on the other side of that but there's no roads anywhere near here to actually cut straight across to where the boat is if that makes sense. And equally as you can imagine I mean hopping on my bike and pedalling into Austri. Uh, the last commute I had in before going off to see me dad and then getting dropped off at the other end, it took me over 20 miles of cycling and an hour and 50 minutes of constant forward motion to get into town. So there's all sorts of fun and games. I just wanted to show you this. Well, again, you can see why it's so peaceful and quiet, ignoring the plane overhead. Um, because there's literally, there can't possibly be anything in a huge section over here. So my friends, I've got about 16 miles to ride from this point back to the boat. We're only a matter of minutes away from town in that direction, up a place called Middleton Lane here. And if I pan the camera around here, you'll see why so soon into a big old bike ride with a heavy backpack filled with supplies and all sorts on my back, I felt it a good opportunity to um, just point the camera around and just say how fantastic is this and this is the sort of environment that I'm going to be cycling through practically for the entirety of the next uh, well near enough 20 miles lovely oh there's a car coming so I better carry on okay my friends I'm now probably about halfway through the ride in terms of distance I'm at a place called Lower Hordley Sweating like a pig to the extent that as I just pulled my phone out of my pocket there was visible drips of sweat on the phone screen that made it difficult because it couldn't pick up my actual fingerprints when I was uh, unlocking the phone and trying to tap on the screen. If I just pan the camera I know you'll see why although this is a fair old ride it's one that as I say it's very enjoyable because it's through such an absolutely extraordinary set of roads and lanes and fields. We've got a helicopter somewhere in the distance. I can't pick it out from here. You can see the uh, big old wind turbine there. There's another one. Uh, I'm not sure if I can zoom in and show you, but the one that should be roughly central in the screen, if it is visible at all, is the one over at Tetchel, I believe. Zoom out. And there's another one that we may see later on in this video, which I think is somewhere like Northwood or, well, I'm not sure. Oh. Helicopter's right up in the sky, somewhere hopefully in the screen, roughly there. Right, I'm going to just uh, have a, a rest and then carry on. Whew. So now over 13 miles into the bike ride, still a good few miles left to go. And we're here just next to Whitemere and you can see it's boats bobbing around here, sailing with the little bit of wind in the air. Absolutely beautiful sight. Fair play, look at that. Lovely stuff. Right then, I will uh, carry on I'm once again. I'm not 100% certain of where I am, but I think I'm around Welsh Hampton, as I recognise a very memorable roadside feature here. Very uh, spooky, crumbling old house here. There's actually still furniture on the top floor there, like a wooden unit and stuff that's still there literally falling down as the building itself collapses. It's been here for a long, long time and I'm sure there's less of it here than a few years ago when I'd be biking up and down here from Narrowboat Tilly. Crows are really having a, a good old whinge about something over there. Okay, my friends, so we are now finally back at the boat. 
and that turned out to be just under pretty much basically 19 mile bike ride which I've got to be honest I feel like it was um, so I'm going to take a moment to collect myself before we head off boating somewhere I'm absolutely soaked through with sweat so I'm going to take on a load of water um, on my into my body not into the boat hopefully and uh, then we'll enjoy some of this absolutely perfect weather and see where we end up. So I've been on board and in and around the boat for the last, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes or so. Just had a chat to the people who were moored up behind me who knew me from YouTube. So that was all very pleasant. Um, and again, just good to see so many people out. And it's it's been alarming how many people have recognised me over the last uh, couple of weeks now that the summer traffic is starting to come out and people are coming out to enjoy this absolutely incredible stretch of canal up towards Langoflin. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stop on board. It's just gone four o'clock at the minute. I'll stop on board where I am, have something to eat, just something. I mean, after that bike ride, I don't really feel like sitting down to a three course meal and knowing that I've got a similar bike ride coming up in the next couple of days as well, but only even further. Um, I'll just have something nice and simple to eat. And then I think I'll uh, move the boat on down the canal and see where I end up. Well, my friends, we're heading closer and closer to Whitchurch. And as you can see, it's another beautiful evening. The sun's just gone behind a few clouds, but as you can see, we've got blue sky, cloud fields, and beautiful canal all around us. I've had to do my button up because now the sun's gone behind the clouds, it's actually pretty chilly. But still, I mean, what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place to be as a random evening activity. Oh, love it. Anyway, I suppose I should let you actually see what's going on ahead of us. You might have noticed I had my ridiculous uh, three-fold collar up there because obviously once the sun comes back out it's going to be uh, a pretty warm and uh, sunny environment to be stood around boating for the next hour or so. 